Spider-Man. Watch where you're shaking that thing. That's right. What's up? All right. Everybody, how are y'all doing, man? Hey, we have some dope, dope, dope gaming news items for this video. Some big ones, too. We're going to start off first, though. You got to give the video a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. The like button is right there. Also, the giveaway. We're having an epic monthly giveaway. Links are in the description. Make sure you're subscribed for the giveaway. All right. The first is the PlayStation 5 reveal event. We got some good news and we got some bad news. What? 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 You on the bad news first? All right. <laughs> I can't hear you. All right. But first, the bad news. This is coming from comicbookgaming.com. It's from the same source that leaked the information. Very reliable um, source. Gaming journalist Jeff Grubb. The PlayStation 5 reveal date is reportedly moving. As you may know, a previous report suggested the PlayStation 5 event is poised to go down on June 4th, which is only a few weeks away. However, it looks like the date may have moved. The initial report came the way of Venture Beach Jeff Grubb, a prominent industry insider, considerable, considered reliable by many. However, the journalist has since issued a revision. He's revised his statement, noting the event is moving. That's the bad news. The good news is it's only moving a few days. It's still going to be early June, but moving a few days back. Um, this is what he's um, he said um, on Twitter. Um, he noted today is oh, a matter of a few days. Instead of June 4th, he's changed it to early June. All right. Um, of course, early June is still a little vague, <coughs> but we'll have to wait and see. But the news is it's not concrete set in for June 4th. As previously said, now it's early June by Sony. He, I think he joked around and said Sony's joking around with him a little bit because he leaked the date. They're moving the date. And so it's still going to be early, early June. PlayStation 5, the console and the games and we have more news related to that event according to uh, Jeff Grubb um, he's saying that at the event there's not gonna be a price there's not gonna be any price and as a matter of fact not even Xbox when Xbox does their summer event no price until August at earliest and so they, they just want you to get hyped <laughs> they don't want oh man <laughs> $600 Man, <laughs> they don't want to put any price, any price at the event. Also, 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 Sony is said to be limiting games that will be shown that are that are just natively running on the PlayStation 5. I'm um, saying that Sony doesn't want after the event's over for people to be saying, oh, that was running on the PC simulated specs on the for PlayStation. They want games that are actually running on the PlayStation 5. So they're limiting the games shown, meaning they got a lot of games to show or not a lot, but some good stuff to show. Sony has officially come out and said, we have a compelling, that was their word, a compelling lineup for the PlayStation 5. And I tell you this, uh, when Xbox, when after that PlayStation, whole PlayStation um, reveal event debacle, <laughs> and it was weaker than the Xbox Series X, I was joking, I was trolling them. I had the 10, I still got the hat. The um, um, 12 is greater than 10 hat. I just trolling them. But at the end of the day, it comes down to games. After that Ghost of Tsushima um, um, state of play. Oh my goodness. Bro, Sony made me a believer again. After seeing uh, Ghost of Sh Tsushima in action, the game looked 
beautiful. And so at the end of the day, it's going to come down to which of the two consoles have the games to show. Bro, Microsoft has invested heavy in their studios. So they better have something <laughs> that competes with um, games like this. Um, the game just looked... It blew me away, all right? It looked like Assassin's Creed in Japan better than any Assassin's Creed game ever made. And so, Ghost of Tsushima, and that's, this is launching on current-gen hardware. And so, that just lets you know, man, it's that developer magic, developer touch. One thing I give Sony credit, they give their developers time to make games like this, man. And Microsoft has to get off that stigma of just Game Pass games. And when I say Game Pass games, like games that they're good, but they're not great. <laughs> and so, interesting to see uh, what's going to happen at both. I, I want to see both um, events by both um, um, console um, holders, manufacturers, to see what they have in store for us as gamers. All right. The next news item is a big one. It's being leaked right now. That's Marvel Spider-Man from Insomniac Games will be one of the free games for PlayStation Plus subscribers in June. This is in the the rumor, it's still rumored. <coughs> um it's just been confirmed that Call of Duty World War II, that's been confirmed on PushSquare.com, Call of Duty World War II will be um, one of the um, free games for May and June, starting tomorrow, tomorrow, Call of Duty World War II, I'll probably download that on my PS4 Pro, um, that's going to be available for free, which is pretty cool, but Marvel Spider-Man, that's one of the games, I'm telling you, I'm going through my backlog, I've beaten all of the good Xbox um, games. Now I'm, I'm trying to beat all of the PlayStation um, good trip games that I haven't beaten. Just beat Final Fantasy 7 today. I'm going to be starting Horizon Zero Dawn tomorrow. Even though Xenoblade, I'm going to be on that Xenoblade 2 because it launches tomorrow. But I want to play Spider Man is another one of those games. Just trying to clear out some games before next generation starts. So. Um, Spider-Man, Spider-Man is one of those games, and if this is free in June, that'll be lit. I'm going to try to beat Horizon Zero Dawn and Spider-Man before The Last of Us 2 comes out. Speaking of, well, do I get to The Last of Us 2 at the end? All right, next news item, Borderlands, 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 2K Borderlands coming to the Nintendo Switch, and... It's going to cost you a pretty penny as far as storage is concerned. <laughs> Even if you get the game physically, there's there's major downloads for the game. Um, Borderlands Legendary Collection, 42 gigabytes. Bioshock The Collection, 31 gigabytes. XCOM 2 Collection, 24 gigabytes. And so each game is going to take up a lot of space. For your Nintendo Switch, Switch is limited. It only comes with 32 gigabytes natively on the hardware. You're forced to buy SD card. I have this is my version two Nintendo Switch. I have a one terabyte. What? What? You think I'm faking the funk? A one terabyte focus focus camera. Y'all see that? Y'all can vaguely see it. It's a one. I have a one terabyte. There it is. Focus. I have a one terabyte micro sd card for my nintendo switch and it's almost full already i got tons of games um i have tons of games but one terabyte has been doing me right for my switch and the last news item for this video bro i got spoiled in the last of us two and i'm a little upset um sony has t tweeted out oh this is my uh, uh, news item too sony has announced a state of play a state of play for the last of us two last of us two wednesday 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 i will be live streaming it wednesday at 4 p.m eastern standard time 
I will be live streaming this state of play. I'm going to be picking up this game. I love the first game. The first game, the story was lit. I'm going to be picking up this game as well. And I got spoiled already. They On the tweet, the tweet where they tweeted out um, that they're announcing the state of play for Wednesday. I clicked on the tweet and I was just reading through the conversation because I was just, uh, it was just funny to see um, people talking about the game and dudes were trolling Sony. And then I ran across a major leak in the game. Oh, man. Now I know why dudes are upset <laughs> on the story of the game. Of course, I'm not going to leak it for you guys. But be careful on the internet. Anything related to The Last of Us, any twi tweets, don't click on it, bro. Don't read it. You're going to get spoiled. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date all things gaming bro we out you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollars digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.